Greetings guys, this is Magnan Mas, Lectures Online. Today we are teaching an electrical trade theory and two test one question paper, which was written on the 3rd of October 2019. We are doing question two, which is about transformers. Question 2.1 says a single phase transformer is connected to a 220 volts AC supply and the tens ratio of the transformer is 25 is to 1. Calculate the input current if the transformer delivers 10 amps. <coughs> so what this means is that uh, it's question 2.1. Let's write down the data that we're given. V supply equals to 220 volts which is equals to V primary and then N1 over N2 equals to 25 over 1 and we are told that the V the I out which is the secondary current equals to 10 amps and we know that from the ratios I1 let's see it's I primary over I secondary equals to N2 over N1 which is N secondary over N primary and when we make I primary subject the formula will get IP equals to N S over N P times I S and when we substitute what we have we'll get 1 over 25 times 10 and this gives us 1, 1 over 25 times 10 gives us 0 0.4 amps. Therefore, by primary, it's 0 0.4 amps. Then 2.2 2.2 says a 650 volt amps three phase transformer has a delta connected primary and a star connected secondary if the supply voltage is 6600 volts the secondary voltage is 380 volts calculate the primary and the secondary phase voltage the secondary phase current the maximum power output at a power factor of 0 0.8 let's write down what we are given uh, our primary voltage is 6600 volts the secondary voltage is 380 volts and our apparent power is 650 volt amps then when we answer 2.2.1 we are told that we should calculate the primary and the secondary phase voltage and from the information given to us is that uh, the primary side is delta connected and the secondary side is star connected and we know that uh, from here to there, this V line, and from here to there, this V face. And here, we know that from here to there, it's V line, which is equals to V face. Therefore, to get a V primary, we'll write V primary as a V primary phase that's why I wrote PVV which will be 
equals to v line that's 6600 volts that's from the primary voltage but then for the secondary uh, phase voltage we know that v line equals to square root of 3 vp therefore v secondary phase equals to v line secondary line over square root of 3 this is going to be 380 divided by square root of 3 and we get 380 divided by square root of 3 of 3 oh, 3 and that's 219.39 Volts. I've just realized that this wasn't visible. This uh, S equals to 650 volt amps. Yeah, that's it. And question 2.2.3 says uh, calculate the secondary. Phase current and to do that we're going to use the formula s equals to square root 3 v line i line making i subject i line subject of the formula we'll get s over square root 3 v line our s is 650 volt amps over square root of 3 and our v line is 380 punching that into the calculator it's going to be 650 over square root of 3 times 380 and our add line is 0 0.98 8 amps then to get the i fees since on the secondary side it's a star collected i line equals to i fees which is 0 0.988 amps and that's it for question 2.2.3 Two actually, it was a mistake from the question paper. And then question two point two point three says the maximum power output at a power factor of zero point eight nine, and we know that uh, the the power factor is actually the ratio of the actual power over the apparent power that's the true power over the apparent power so power factor equals to p over s therefore p equals to s p f which is 650 times 0 0.8 and we get 650 times 0 0.8 get 520 watts p equals to 520 watts and that's it for equation 2 i've just underlined all the views that we needed in this question thank you